a river. We, we Christians must always see water more than flower. People say, well, how many know why? You know why? Because there is a river whose trees make glad the city of our God. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I see water more than flower every day because there is a river that streams, whose trees make glad the city of our God. Hallelujah. And we are drinking from that river of life. Somebody say hallelujah. And all of you shall flow rivers of living water. The Bible tells us that the same Sennacherib, he escaped. He escaped. When those 5,180 men died, he escaped. And he beat his chest and said, okay, you got, the, you got those guys, but you couldn't get me. So he thought he escaped, but he, run, he was running, but he couldn't hide. <laughs> I tell you, God will catch up with you, you know. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. God will catch up with the enemy who is trying to chase at you and try to mock you and scoff at you and steal from you and trying to ridicule you. They that are for you are more than them. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us Sinatra escaped only to be assassinated by his sons. So God has a way of causing the enemy to destroy their own, their own selves. See, the same man who said these things against the children of God and spoke evil against God, smitten by his own sons. God delivered Hezekiah, set the people free. Because Hezekiah walked with a perfect heart. He walked in truth before God with a perfect heart. I did that was the right in the sight of the Lord. Because God was his refuge and his strength and his peace. Today, we can still, we can be still and leave. We can be still and, and leave the future with God. Be still and leave, leave the future with God. Watch this church. Look at verse 10 and we're going to close. Verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathens. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our strength. Watch this, church. Knowing how powerful God is and what He's capable of doing, we need to be still. In other words, like we're doing, watch this here, watch this. Every day we're doing things. We're trying to fix this, we're trying to fix that, we're trying to pay this bill, trying to do that, we're fighting this problem, we're fighting that problem. God says, Stop! There are some things we are trying to do, we are trying to do only what God can. And God says, don't you try to do my job. You can't do it. Be still and know I am capable. I am God. <laughs> I am God. Somebody say, I heard on news last night, um, somebody said in, in Pakistan who got damaged and got injured, fell off from a something, some Emirate Khan or whatever it was. He said, you know what we believe? God help those who help themselves. The Bible tells us Jesus came to help those who can't help themselves. That's the difference with the God we serve. Do you understand that? There are some things we can't do. Only the grace of God we need to do it. By the grace of God, we can only do it because of the grace of God. Hallelujah. Because of the grace of God, we can do it. And so I'm saying to you tonight, stop working and trying to Please go by performance. Trust the grace of God. Only God can do it. When He saves you through faith in Christ, we become a part of a, His loving family. Church, do you know you belong to the family of God? And if you belong to a family, you're one with a family, you're intimate with a family. The father loves you, the mother loves you, the family loves one another. We belong to the family of God. He saved us. Romans 5 1 tells us, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. John chapter 1. Verse 12 and 30 says, But as many as receive him to them, give you power to become what? The sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Do you believe? Which are born, not of blood. That's man, man's performance, blood. Not of, not of blood, not of the will of the flesh. That's man's performance. Not of the will of man, but of God. Or of the grace of God. You see, we are what we are because of the grace of God. Not by our own fleshly will. Not by man's blood. We are not we talk about that. We talk about the fact that we, we are doing what we are doing because of God's grace. We belong to the family of God. Amen to that. We believe in God. And so, God will take you off his own. Amen? I said, God will take you off his own. And we can trust him on that point that God will take care of his own. Disaster proof your life. No matter what comes into your life, remember, remember, when the foundations are shaken and the dark clouds are forming, we can take refuge in who? 
in Him. Take refuge in who? Jesus Christ. Notice today that the Psalms be begin with what? Begin and ends with the statement that God is our refuge. See the first one? Verse 1, God is our refuge. And verse 11, it ends with saying that God is our refuge. What a wonderful comfort in times of trouble. God is our refuge. So we disaster proof our lives as we begin and end each day. Every single day. Can I get your attention for a second? Every single day you wake up, you disaster proof your life. Are you begin that day in God's presence? In God's presence, with God's peace, and with His promises. Do you hear me tonight? Always in His presence. Always, He's always present with you. His peace, we shall not be afraid of anything. And with His promises, He is our refuge and strength. And He, 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 he He's there, but He's there in person because He is humble and He wants to identify with us. And if God is there, respect Him and show Him reverence and let Him know He's not neglected. Every day of your life. Amen? And remember, remember His promises. His promises is this. He said, I overrule. I overrule every plot against you. I'll overrule like I overrule Sennacherib. And save Hezekiah. He will overrule the enemy's plan against you. I must see that every day. Any weapon form against me, God, you overrule that. Because of your promises. Amen? Amen. He will overrule the affairs of men. The affairs of the enemy. Anything that comes against you. And so God is sufficient when the world is shaken. God is what? Sufficient. And we can trust Him to bring us through safely. And to the unsafe, you're watching me tonight. Do you have Him in your heart tonight? Do you have Jesus in your heart for those of you watching tonight? Do you have the personal relationship with the one who can deliver you from your bondage, from your problems? Who can deliver you in time of disasters? Be sensitive quickly. Do you know... Do you know that He can touch you right where you are? Do you know He wants to come into your life tonight? Everyone is standing in the presence of the Lord. And I want, you to, I want you tonight to understand that you need to trust Him in the time of your grief. You need to trust Him in the time of your brokenness. Through your suffering and pain. You, have to, you need to have a personal relationship with Him. So when you go through these things, you will have His presence. You will have His peace. And you'll have his promises. So why don't you give your heart to the Lord today? Why don't you come to him today? Wherever you are, whatever part of the world you are, whatever trouble you're going through right now, Jesus died that we might have eternal life. And uh, the question is, will you give him your life today? Will you come to him tonight? Will you surrender your life to him? And if you're a Christian, to all Christians, here and those of you watching tonight, are you seeking refuge in Christ? Are you allowing yourself to first be frustrated by the problems you face every day are you going to allow troubles and needs and difficulties to disrupt your flow in god are, are you going to allow people to deter you from focusing on the lord no god didn't do you anything wrong god didn't do you any harm stay focused on the lord he loves you he cares about you he will direct your path he will lead you in the path of righteousness so he's a present help in time of trouble so i want you today to, to, to give him that full respect that he deserved tonight. He's our God. He's a God of refuge. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Thank you. Lift your hands in the presence of God and say, Lord, I'm going to sit and proof my mind, disaster proof my life, my home, my family, my possession, everything. I'm going to prepare myself. I'm going to determine in my mind the decision I'm going to make because I've already made up my mind what I'm going to do when things happen in my life I already made up my mind how I'm going to respond to God so when it happens the devil cannot take me by surprise and so tonight you can be strong and you can be a bulwark in the faith everyone lift your hands in his presence God will make a way Where there seems to be no, Where seems to be no way. Jesus. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He 
Come, brother Sheldon, come. Bring your wife and come. Stand here. Hallelujah. God is your refuge tonight. If something is troubling your mind tonight, troubling your life, troubling your family, troubling your heart, something is bothering you tonight, come stand here quickly. Come closer. Something is bothering your mind, come quickly. Maybe a sickness, pain, a disease, a situation, a financial situation, a disaster, a tragedy. Something is bothering your mind, come stand here quickly. I need workers here quickly. I need some prayer warriors in the world to just, just hold them and pray with them tonight. Come stand, come closer. God will make a way. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Hallelujah. Maybe there's a healing in your body. Maybe something. Something. You want God to touch your life tonight. Precious Holy Spirit. Precious Lord. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me closely to Just reach out. Just reach out and just, just reach out to Him and somebody pray with you tonight. No good thing. God will make a way. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. No disaster. No man made disaster. No physical disaster. No spiritual disaster. We have the presence of God. We have the peace of God. And the promises of God. The three things that God has given us tonight. His peace. His promises. His presence. Thank you Jesus. Release your peace Lord. Peace of mind. Peace in her heart. Peace in her soul. Peace in her life Lord. Peace in her family Lord. In Jesus name. Lord you'll you will relinquish in your lives lord blessings pressed down shaken together running over bring them into agreement bring them into covenant agreement lord that nothing lord will come between their agreement believing in you to supply their needs and lord in a greater capacity more than they can contain more than they ever had before hallelujah lord we pray that you will supply supply that vehicle that they need oh god oh lord i pray you supply that vehicle give this man the ability to think to think on the things that you promise in philippines for if lord as he think on those things you will bring it to pass lord in his life grant him the desires of his heart lord lord you make a way give him the strength and the courage through your presence through your peace and through your promises tonight lord you are his refuge for him and his family he need a transport to and from church lord for your service for your honor for your glory bless them in a special way tonight oh god provide for them that they may know you are the lord god you are the lord god who is jehovah jireh tonight we thank your holy spirit Meet that need, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. Don't let the devil discourage you. Don't let problems discourage you. Don't let situation affect you. Don't let anything disturb your faith. God is able to restore that foundation. God will restore that foundation. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Precious Holy Spirit. We give you praise, Lord. We give you praise, Jesus. We give you praise, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God will make a way. God will make a way. Thank you, Lord. God 
sing it. Keep on praying, everybody. Keep on praying. Thank you, Jesus. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. What God wants is for both of you to be in agreement. For both of you to be in agreement concerning His promises. No disagreement. You must agree according to the Word of God. Agree on His promises. And what you desire will come to pass. Both have to be in the same agreement. What you both desire will come to pass. Okay? Whatever the enemy plan to, to do to separate you, to distract you, to destroy you, God will overrule that. Both of you must agree on the same thing. Okay? Let's agree tonight for the same thing. That God will build your relationship, strengthen your relationship, and position you in the foundation to build your family life and build your future and provide for, for your needs. Life is too short. Time is running out. Jesus is coming. We gotta get things moving forward for God. Let's pray and believe God. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, I bring this couple before you. Lord, the troubles that they face, the difficulties that they have to endure, the misunderstanding, whatever problem that they may encounter, whatever battles they have to face, whatever discomfort they feel, whatever that is challenging their lives right now, whatever the enemy is throwing at them, you are able to overrule tonight like you overrule Sinatraib. Tonight, oh God, I pray, you overrule the enemy's plan and give them favor and remove burdens from their shoulders as they come together in agreement of your plan and purpose. They'll walk in your presence, oh God. They'll walk with your peace in mind. They will know that you're able and you have the ability and the capacity to intervene in their lives tonight and break the shackles and break the plans of the enemy. I declare the enemy defeated tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, that they will come together tonight. I pray and put your heads together and agree as touching anything they desire you to do in your lives that it may come to pass right now. Bring them in harmony and peace, Lord. Give them favor. Give them understanding. Give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to defeat the plan of the enemy and to take your word, your presence, your peace, and your promises and walk with a perfect heart before you. In Jesus' mighty name, we give you praise tonight, Lord. Let's lift your hands everywhere and just, just thank God tonight. God is able tonight. He's your rock. He's your refuge. He's your strong tower. He is everything you need Him to be tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. He's my rock, He's my fortress, He's my deliverer, in Him will I trust. Praise the name of Jesus. Give Him a hand tonight, will you? Hallelujah. Remember that tonight. He's your rock. He's your fortress. And him, in him, we will trust tonight. Amen. I want you to take those three things with you, okay? His presence, his peace, and his promises. Okay? And when you take that, the Bible says, just like we studied in, in Hezekiah, the Bible said that God will overrule the enemy's plan in your life. Give somebody a big hug tonight and tell them God will overrule the enemy's plan in your life tonight. He'll overrule in your plan. In Jesus' name, expect God's intervention and rejoice and tell the devil he will never steal your joy. Because steal anything else, but he can't steal your joy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ushers.